right, today I'm going to show you how I clean up the EVPs that I record. I use Magic's Audio Cleaning Lab to do my uh, cleaning of my EVPs and my audio. So let's open this up now. I only have the trial version at the moment. So um, let's uh, just bring this over to this screen so I can record it. Basically, I always choose optimized speech and audiobook. Okay, so now we can bring this over to this screen. Okay, I'm just going to uh, import um, a sound that I've already edited. It sounds like it's uh, saying, I did it. So let's play this now. Don't forget, this has already been cleaned up, so it's going to sound quite clear. And me adding more effects and stuff to it is going to make it a little bit distorted. But I'm going to show you how I um, clean up the EVPs anyway. So let's play this. A little bit loud. It sounds like um, I did it. Sounds like I did it. Okay, so I click on cleaning here, and it has um, a D clicker, and uh, these basically presets they're already set up. for voice so um, you don't really need to do much to them it basically is set up to only remove the heavy clicks at the moment so uh, you don't really need to click this uh, settings button here really but I do change the settings or the presets for some things so that's with the uh, D clicker added we now have a D crackler if we click the preset settings for this you can see that it's set up to only remove heavy clicks. We also have a declipper, which is basically, it kind of works like a limiter to um, make sure you don't go above a desired set of decibels. So that will uh, make you get a nice clear sound. We also have this de-hisser, which I'm not going to add right now, but I'll show you the settings for it. You basically set it to um, what sort of audio type you want. I usually choose language and denoise the voice, which will cut everything out and just give you a voice. Or cut out most of the background noise and just give you a clearer voice sounding. We also have a denoiser, which will take out some of the noise in the background and make the voice sound clearer. But I'm not going to add those effects right now, because... Um, they will basically just distort the sound I've got because I've already added those in the past. So then you click uh, mastering. This is the the denoiser. So then you click mastering. We have a sound cloner which I don't usually use. The equalizer. Now this is what I like to mess around with quite a lot. You have all these preset settings like loudness, and you can choose to uh, play them with your sample. So this is loudness. Hi-Fi sound, classic settings, max bass, uh, telephone setting. Uh, I usually like to choose em emphasized voice. And then I like to uh, mess around with the settings a bit. Usually I like to roll off everything below 100. But with this actual EVP here, rolling off everything um, under 100 takes out quite a lot of the bass sound which I've already done this once so doing it twice is going to take out a lot of the bass from the sound I already have which has no bass so it's going to sound like it has no bass so uh, maybe you could just turn the frequency up a bit so it rolls off a bit less or turn the frequency down sorry and the gain up a little bit maybe
but you have uh, six bands to play around with, so you can easily, you know, do some nice EQing on this equaliser. Um, I usually just go with empath emphasized voice. Empathize. <laughs> I can't even say it. You also can uh, remove the wind noise as well, which basically rolls off everything below 200. But the preset I like to go for is usually... Well, female voice empath empathizing could be quite good. Female voice could be quite good. Seeing as this EVP does sound like a female, I'm going to use empathize female voice. We have a brilliance setting here to add some brilliance to the voice. A brilliance enhancer, standard, soft. You can choose the amount in percentages. I usually just choose standard. We don't want to use um, any effects such as reverb or anything like that. Um, dynamics, you have a compressor with presets. So I like to choose strong voice volume boost. That might be a little bit too much. So maybe weak volume boost. That sounds a lot clearer to me. You have other effects and presets like stereo effects and multimax. But basically then you just click export and choose WAV and other file formats and then you can save it as a WAV file or an MP3, WMA, AIF, you have all these different formats. So this is basically how I clean up EVPs. Clipping a little bit there. There we go.